This is the state of the roads here in Gerhu, from the main bus stop at Stage 2 leading toward Tufo Market and the drive down to Waikele and Stage 6. Heavy rains from last December and January have washed away bitumen ceiling during the downpour. And as the dry season kicked in, the cracks on the road increased, allowing for potholes to develop, grow and deepen in size. Commuters are concerned the road situation could cause problems for their vehicles. Uh, me feel the um, same. Um, bumpy, bumpy league now. Nah. Um, you know, all right, lo. Same. Um, people all drive us. Um, Sometimes people go come and people bagarap him. Car blum blum. All people are all them. Every time I'm doing so, what all? What all? Um, all all the straighty part. All the straighty good. All the German you come put the gas and apart. There is no rain or it's like that. Malcolm Pondrila, who resides at Gerahu and drives around the area, says the state of the road is too bumpy to drive on, and vehicles tend to drive on the sideways that pedestrians use. Northwest, road thing. plant accident, man, about Car to clock sim na. All drivers to especially um low look road no right there all look oxy all side there. Nam cause plant the accident to. Continuous rain to come down. Nam dangerous. Lol. Public look about the road kind of say in. You know safe. The state of the main road is a resemblance of a few feeder roads in the suburb as well. Heavy rains have completely eroded the top ceiling, leaving behind bare roads generating dust over the area. Residents say over time, little patches of potholes have been filled in. But it's been about two years since a major upgrade was done on this stretch of the road and are appealing to the relevant authorities to fix the roads. In Chelo, Gero, and people are all through. And so I have people all cars are going to come past us now. And more population is going to come. People like you must come back and straight in Mr. Rhodes. MTV News reached out to NCD Governor Poas Pakup's office and in response, the governor has said it is their priority to rehabilitate the roads this year, hence the delay in patching up the potholes. Helen Sia, National MTV News.